How's it, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. It's a really exciting one. I'm not playing in the game, but Jimmy is. Before we get into it, we got to talk about our sponsors, channelfireball.com slash command. That is the affiliate link to use when you are ordering your magic product, singles, anything at all. You know, the holidays are right around the corner. We're all trying to think of the perfect holiday gifts for our friends and family. The marketplace at channelfireball.com slash command is really the place to go. They're going to get you the cards super, super fast. They're going to get them to you in great condition. You're dealing with licensed businesses. That's right. Channel Fireball vets every vendor on their site. So you know you're going to get a professional experience. Again, channelfireball.com slash command. That's the place to go to get all your magic cards. And then once you have the cards in hand, you want to make sure you protect them. We trust products from Ultra Pro here at the Command Zone. Jimmy and my, all of our decks are in Eclipse sleeves. We use Satin Tower deck boxes or Mythic Collection stuff. They always have have the really nice themed product that has all the artwork from whatever the newest set is. So if you want your battlefield looking awesome and your game pieces to remain protected, Ultra Pro products are the way to go. They are the best at protecting all of your stuff. And of course, the final way to support all of our content is directly if you go to patreon.com slash command zone. There's all kinds of perks if you become a patron. One of them is you get to watch game nights and extra turns earlier than the general public. And also those videos are offered ad free. Again, if you're a patron, there's other things as well. You get to hang out on the discord with Jimmy and I. We're on there every day, uh, chilling with our supporters, answering questions. It's a lot of fun. So again, patreon.com slash command zone if you want to join up and contribute and support our channel. All right, without further ado, we've got a pretty exciting game with some spicy decks. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Extra Turns. On this episode, we're all going to be playing some of our favorite decks, and mine is Intet the Dreamer. This is a battle cruiser deck that wants to use Intet's ability to play huge, awesome dragons and a bunch of clones to make even more dragons. And once my board is full, I'll be able to overwhelm my opponents and swing out for the win. Hey y'all, Murph here, and today I'm going to be playing Nimrus Una's Trickster. This deck is full of powerful instants and flash cards, so most of my game is going to be played on other people's turns. That way, Nimrus will give me value for every card I play, refilling my hand and filling my graveyard at the same time. Then I'll use my fully loaded graveyard to power up my board and win the game. Hey everybody, it's Grav, and today my commander is going to be Isika, God of the Tree. Or more likely, the flip side, the Prismatic Bridge. This is an oops, all gods deck that aims to use the Prismatic Bridge to fill the board with impactful, hard to remove deities. But summoning the gods can take a while. So I've got a suite of board wipes that will slow my opponents down while my indestructible enchantment creatures take over the game. Hey everybody, it's Craig. Today I'm gonna be playing Riss the Redeemed. This deck wants to go wide and make a whole lot of elves. So it's loaded up with ramp creatures, token generators, and tribal synergies. Then, when my token army is spread across the land, I'll pump them all up and overwhelm my opponents with the might of the elves, united! Or a Crater of Behemoth or a Triumph of the Hordes. I don't care. All right, prepare to face the wrath of the gods! You're gonna win in your dreams. Redemption is at hand! This'll be over in a flash. All right, everybody, you good to go? Yes. yes. Let's go. Sweet. All right, I am first, so I will draw a card. I will play a snow-covered forest, and I will tap to bring out my commander, Risk the Redeem. Look at him go. Not fair. All right. All right. Yeah, off to a good start. All right, I will draw my card for turn. I will play a Fabled Passage, and I will pass turn to you, Murph. All right, I will draw. I will play an Ice Tunnel Taps, and I will pass the turn to you, Grov. Okay, I will draw for turn. Uh, I will play a Verdant Catacombs, then I will pass my turn. All right, I am going to untap, draw for turn. I'll play a land for turn, and I'll pass turn. Oh, no attacks? No attacks. Okay, on your end step, I'm gonna crack the Fabled Passage. Finding a basic land, I will find the forest, find the battlefield tapped, and then I will untap, draw my card for turn, I'll play a Yavamai Hollow, and then I'm going to cast a Farseek. Oh, that's a nice Farseek. I will find a Ketria Triome, put it on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. And then I'll pass the turn to you, Murph. All right, I will untap, I will draw, I will play a Port of Carfell, and I will pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to crack my Burden Catacombs. So I'll pay one life, going to 39. 
to search my library for a swamp or forest card, in this case, an Indatha Triome, and put it on the battlefield tapped. Uh, and then I will untap and draw for turn. Okay, I will play an island, and I will tap two to play a Sanctum Weaver. Oh, uh, that's a really good card. He's pretty good. And then I will pass turn. All right, draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Snow-Covered Plains, and then a Mana Crypt. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> and I am going to cast Kether's Crusade. Oh, oh, oh no. no. So, yeah, I'll pass turn. Craig did nothing on turn two, so you can flex on this turn three. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this a lot. Were you just sandbagging the mana crypt? Uh, no. You just drew it? <laughs> I just drew it. Wow. <laughs> I can't tell if he's lying or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I will untap, and then I'm going to draw my card for turn. Uh, I'm going to play a Frontier Bivouac, and then I'm going to tap three and cast Somberwald Sage. Oh, I don't like that card. Man. Nice. Now pass turn to you, Murph. All right, well, I will untap. I will draw. Well, I'm a flash deck, so I'm just gonna play a Watery Grave tapped and pass the turn. Okay, I will untap and draw. Uh, I will play a Katria Triome tapped, and then I'm gonna be the hero we all need. I will tap a Indatha Triome, an Island, and Sanctum Weaver to play Anguished Unmaking. Oh! Targeting Cathar's Crusade. Okay. Yep. Get rid of it for good. So Cathar's Crusade will be exiled. And I will lose three life. Going to 36. Thank you. That's all I have to say. You're off the hero we needed, but not the hero we deserved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I am going to untap. During my upkeep, my mana crypt is going to trigger. Garav, can you say odds or evens, please? Uh, I will choose odds. <laughs> odds, I will lose life. Ooh, Damn. odds. All right. I take three. And I'll go to 37. I will draw for turn. All right. Do you guys like force? Yeah. Oh. Everybody's got boring. All right, and then I guess coat of arms? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why I not? I guess, yeah, why not? <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap all my stuff, and then I will draw my card for turn. I'm gonna play a Temple of the False God, also a forest. Um, I'm gonna start things off by tapping for a blue and casting Preordain, Stride to draw a card. Okay. Um, I will keep them both on top, and I will draw the card. Interesting. I'm gonna tap for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my. I'm gonna cast the Skyline Despot. Nice. Ooh. I become the monarch. Sweet. Oh. And then I will pass my turn and I will draw my card for being the monarch. Ooh. Ah, oh, scary. All right, I will untap. I will draw for turn. I will play an Ancient Tomb and then I will inconspicuously pass the turn. <laughs> huh. I will untap. Draw for turn, and then I'm gonna tap four to play Smothering Tithe. Oh, that's, that's fine. I just need some mana. That unfortunately resolves. <laughs> some mana. <laughs> I've done it. No land for turn, sadly. That's it for me. All right, I will untap, and during my upkeep, my mana crypt is gonna trigger. Odds or even, Smurf? Odds. Odds I take damage, all right. <laughs> oh, man. This crypt is uh, hurting me. I'll take it. Okay, I will draw for turn. Um, would you like to pay for smothering time? No. All right. I create a treasure. Okay. I think I need to start making tokens. Probably not. So I'm gonna tap three mana and Reese to make an elf token. All right, that is an elf warrior. So because of coat of arms and because my two elves share at least one creature type, they're both gonna be two twos. All right, and then I'm gonna play a Wooded Bastion for turn. Cool. And pass the turn to Jimmy. Okay, I'm gonna untap all my stuff. On my upkeep, because I am the monarch, I get to make a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token and put it on the battlefield. Oh no. And I got a Jimmy. Hey. hey! And because of Code of Arms, my dragons are both gonna give each other plus one, plus one. So they're both six sixes right now. Uh, and then I'm going to draw my card for turn. Would you like to pay for Smothering Tithe? I will not pay, so you get to have another treasure. Yes! Um, I will play a Forest for turn. Okay, so I'm going to tap for one, two, three, and four, and cast Sneak Attack from my hand. Nope, don't like that. And then I'm gonna tap two and cast Lightning Graves. Oh, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tap one red and activate Sneak Attack for Scourge of the Throne. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap Somber Walled Sage for three mana and pay two life to cast Phyrexian Metamorph, copying Scourge of the Throne. Uh, with the Phyrexian Metamorph on the stack. Okay. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, I, I actually don't know. Yeah. Technically, it looks bad. Technically, I don't know what you're copying until... Right, so Phyrexian Metamorph is on the stack. Yeah, but regardless of what you choose, it's okay. going to be quite bad. Yeah. Ergo. <laughs> I'm going to cast Reality Shift. Okay. Targeting the Scourge of the Throne. I think okay. that's the worst. Ooh. Correct, so Scourge of the Throne is going to get exiled. 
I'm going to take the top card of my library, put it on the battlefield, face down as a 2-2 creature. And if it is a creature card, it can be turned face up anytime for its mana cost. For X and Metamorph will enter the battlefield, so I'll have a copy of the Skyline Despot. Still bad. Also but I, bad. But I think, I think <laughs> less bad. Less bad indeed, because otherwise I'll have two extra combat turns this turn. Mm, yeah. I'm going to then equip my 5-5 five, five dragon that the Skyline Despot made with the Lightning Greaves. Yeah. And because of Code of Arms, all my dragons are now 7-7s. Seven Woof. Oh, yeah. So Murph, I'm going to go to combat and swing at you with the Skyline Despot and the Dragon Token for 14 damage. I don't like that, but there's not much I can do about it. So I will take 14, going to 26. Woof. Uh, and then I'm going to equip the Lightning Greaves onto my other Skyline Despot. And then I will pass turn, and because I am the monarch, I will draw a card, and I will not pay for smothering tithes, so you can get that treasure. Sweet! <laughs> oh, this is going poorly. Uh -oh. And then I'll pass turn to you, Murph. I just wanted to cast my commander, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I will untap. I will draw. I will not pay for smothering tithes. Thank you. Jeez. All right, I will play a Darkwater Catacombs, and I think I just have to leave my mana up and hope I don't die. Pass the turn. <laughs> okay, I will untap, and I will wish for a board wipe. Okay. Uh, I will play a Savannah for turn. Nice. And then I will tap the savannah and use four treasure tokens to bring out the Prismatic Bridge. Ooh. Okay, and then I will tap Sanctum Weaver for three black mana. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Along with a blue and a red from the Ketria Triome to cast Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Ooh. Okay, what about that? I'm going to use three loyalty bringing him down to one loyalty to destroy target creature Planeswalker, targeting Skyline Despot. Okay. Despot dies. Sorry, Jimmy. No, you don't need to apologize. I fully understand. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. I will untap, upkeep. Jimmy, odds or evens? Evens. All right. Oh, man. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> evens, I take damage. Come on, Let's odds. go, baby. Uh, All right. Hey. See, I'm your friend. Thanks, Jimmy. Drake. Anytime, oh. dude. <laughs> that's years you of knew. friendship. You knew. I did. All right. I'm going to draw for turn. Would you like to pay for smothering time? I would not. Thank you. <laughs> We're friends here. All right. Well, I'm going to tap three and tap wrists to add another elf warrior token. Well, main phase elfsies. Then I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to play a guy's cradle. Oh, this did get a lot better. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yep, that checks out. Seven mana. Thank you, Jimmy. And so I'm going to cast Shamanic Revelation. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm going to draw three cards. Would you like to pay for Smothering Tide for oh any of those? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll pay for one of them. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I only gained two treasure tokens. Nice. Tides. And then I pass turn. Okay. I'm going to untap. And then on my upkeep, my other Skyline Despot is going to trigger making me another 5-5 five, five dragon. And then I will draw my card for turn. Would you like to pay for the tithe? I will. Nice. Yay. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. That's right. I'm going to play a land for turn. And then I'm going to tap for eight. Uh -oh. And I'm going to cast Ubara oh Hellcat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Jimmy. God. No response to this, Smurf. <sighs> Don't worry, you're not seeing double. I'm Riku of Two Reflections, and this is my reflection. Ignore Mirror Boy, I'm Riku, and he's my reflection. We aren't having this argument again. Way to deflect, faker. Anyway, despite looking the same, we're very different, which makes buying presents for each other difficult. But if you're looking for something for your other half, today you can save big on a gift they'll use every day, Raycon wireless earbuds. With seamless Bluetooth pairing, a built-in mic, and a noise-isolating fit, Raycons are perfect for anyone. Their everyday earbuds come with three sound profiles, so you can get the perfect bass for your tastes. Righty over there listens to a lot of hip-hop and EDM in bass mode, while Fake Left Me listens to boring podcasts in balanced mode. They're not boring if you're smart. Ah, Raycon's audio quality is amazing, but they start at half the price of other premium brands, so you'll want to buy a pair and, and a spare. spare. Hey, hey, stop, stop copying, copying me. me! You copied me! No, you're copying no, you're me. the faker. No, you start I'm the real one. Copy your no, fake. Copy. Go to buyraycon.com slash extra today to unlock exclusive deals for 30% off your Raycon order. But hurry, this offer is available for a limited time only, and you don't want to miss it. That's buyraycon.com slash extra to unlock 30% off your Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash extra. 
investment is like playing ramp. See my words, scribe. Do you intend to write about Titan investments without Sun Titan? Sorry, Sonny. Josh says no talking Titans. It's not you. It's just that personal investment is too important. Exactly. Everyone knows they should be putting money aside long term, but it can be hard to figure out how. However, Titan is an accessible platform for everyday people who want their money actively managed by a team of experts. Right. That's what Josh and I are. Will you mention you can start with just one hundred? dollars then see exactly how your money is managed on an easy to use titan mobile app or how they offer three different portfolios including flagship international and crypto well, yes but and how about mentioning that titan strategies have continually beaten the market so people can see hedge fund level gains without all those hefty fees look i've got this okay just let me write all right man sorry you know, Jordan, I've been thinking, what if we use Talking Titan cards to talk about Titan investments? <laughs> yes, boss. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, me too. Right now, if you use our URL, titan.com slash extra, you'll get your first three months of investment management for zero fees. That's titan.com slash extra for zero fees. They call me mad. Those simple-minded fools think that there is no way for I, Ludovic, necro-genius, to fight my male pattern baldness. Preposterous. I have evil science. Watch as with a flip of this lever, I raise my hair from the dead. <laughs> uh... Okay, I, I'm willing to admit I may have made an error. I have this long hair now, but at what cost? I should have used Keeps, the simple stress-free way to keep your hair. All it would have taken was a quick online consultation with a doctor from the comfort of my lab. Don't make my mistake. If stopping hair loss is something you want, Keeps can provide you with reliable FDA-approved treatments delivered discreetly right to your door. Keeps treatments start at only $10 a month, but no, I diffuse myself into this horrible abomination. Some necro genius I turned out to be. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash extra to get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash extra to get your first month free. Again, that's keeps.com slash extra. Okay, I'm gonna tap for eight. Uh oh. And I'm gonna cast Uvara oh Helka. No response to this, Murph. Please. All that mana? It resolves. All right. No! Murph, why are you playing blue? Why am I playing blue? I just want to play my commander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to switch the lightning greaves over to the Udvara Helkai. Oh. So we have a response to this. Yes, I do. <gasps> That's what I figured. <laughs> the equip is on the stack, Murph. Yes. I will flash in a dream eater. Ooh. Ah. Okay. And notably, Jimmy did not leave red mana open for sneak attack. Correct. So. Oh. Whoa. Look wow. at him. Murph, so beautiful. I, so I tapped Ancient Tomb to do that, so I will take two damage. Going to 24. Okay. And then when Dream Eater enters the battlefield, surveil four. I'm going to dump them all. They're all lands and a cunning Night Bonder. Okay. And then when it enters the battlefield, it's also going to It'll return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, and I'm going to bounce the Udvara Hellkite. Okay. The Udvara Hellkite goes back to my hand. You're welcome. Thank and you. I probably could still take a ton more damage, though. That means I can equip my Lightning Greaves onto the dragon that entered the battlefield this turn. Yeah. So that's going to get that. Yep. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. I'm going to swing this 2-2 manifest at Nicol Bolas. I'm going to swing one 7-7 seven, seven dragon at you, Murph. And I'm going to swing the other 7-7 seven, seven dragon at Craig. Okay. It's less bad than I thought, so I will not block. Okay. 2-2 two, two coming at Nicol. Uh, so I'm going to tap Indatha Triome and use two treasures to cast Putrefy mm. on the manifest token. Okay. Mm. So the manifest token will die. I'll reveal that it was a land all along. Ah. And I will take seven. Going to 27. And I will take seven. Going to 17. Okay. And then at my end step, the monarch will trigger. I'll draw a card and I will not pay for a smothering tithe. Thank you. You're welcome. Free value for Garov. Now I just need to draw a board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? All right, you're go, Murph. I'm all done. All right. Go to my turn. I will untap and I will draw for turn. Would you like to pay for smothering tithe? No, I do not want to pay for smothering tithe. All right. Then I will gain a treasure. Okay. I will play an underground river as my land for turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave all this mana up. Pass to you, Grav. Okay, I will untap, and then going to my upkeep, the Prismatic Bridge will trigger, and that will reveal... Athreos, Whoa. God of Passage. Wow, right. insta-hit. Black Devotion is five, my White Devotion is three. Yeah, you have eight. I mean, you can't attack or anything, you just came out, but... That's awesome. Yeah, uh, and then I will draw for turn. Uh, okay, I'm going to tick up Nicol Bolas to two loyalty. 
Yep. To draw a card, each opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control. Hmm. I'll exile a forest. I'm going to exile a cultivate. I'll exile a chrome mox. And I will draw a card. Okay. Um, I will start by playing a Zagoth Triome. Oh my. All the Triomes. And all in the uh, the nice arts. Yeah, baby. I love those. I will tap Sanctum Weaver for four white mana. And I will tap an island to play God Eternal Oketra. Oh, oh man. So I am going to tap a Ketra Triome and an Indatha Triome to play an Arcane Signet. Nice. Mm-hmm. And then I will pay one, two, along with two treasures to play Heliot, God of the Sun. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Counts as a creature. That right. counts as a creature. It will trigger Oketra, which will make me a 4-4 zombie warrior token with vigilance. Yikes. Uh, and th- that's my turn. Oh my. All right, I'm going to untap and upkeep. I got to roll. Garav. Yes. Odds or evens, sir? I'm going with odds. Got to be right. odds. It's done us well so odds far. Odds take damage. Not evens. Hey. <laughs> Nothing All but right. odds this I whole game. I think we know from now on. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take three. Put me down to 24 and draw a card for turn. Would you like to pay for some othering tithe? No. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to play a land for turn, and I'm going to tap that for Findhorn Elves. Okay, full or Findhorn Elves. And then I'm going to tap six and tap Reese to make two more Elf Warrior creature tokens. Oh boy, here we go. All right, so I'll have two Elves that I can attack with and two that are summoning sick. Okay. Does anybody have any Elf or Warriors? I actually do have a Warrior. This zombie token? is a warrior. <laughs> all right, all right. Coat of arms coming to work here. So all my elves and warriors are giving me plus five, plus five from coat of arms. And I've got a warrior over here, so that's another one. <laughs> Yowza. So I'm kind of jealous of Garav for having all these indestructible gods, but I'm also kind of jealous of Jimmy for having all these flyers. Oh, what? No. So this I'm going to cast Eldraza <laughs> for five. <sighs> and I'm going to get both. <laughs> This is the most crank game ever. <laughs> so now they each give an additional plus one, plus one, flying and indestructible from Eldrazi Monument. Jeez Louise. Holy moly. Ugh. Remember how I was the problem? <laughs> All right, so Jimmy, I'm going to swing at you for 16 in the air. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was the dragon there. Sounds familiar, yeah. <laughs> Sounds very familiar. Okay, well, I'm not going to block, so I'm going to go to 22. Now you know how it feels. Oof. And Craig, guess what? You're the monarch. Hey, that's oh, my That's pretty good. All right, and then I'm going to pass turn, and on my end step, I will draw a card. You will not pay for Tide for that? I will not, because I cannot. Gotcha, thank you, had to check. Also on your end step, Craig, I'm going to tap five mana. Oh no. Taking two from Ancient Tomb. Going to 15, and I'm going to cast my commander. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you can cast a spell on my turn. So I can cast a spell on Jimmy's turn and get the benefit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm now going to untap all of my stuff in a more precarious position than I was last time. Yeah. I'm going to draw my card for the turn. I will not pay for smothering tithes. All right. Okie dokie. So I'm going to tap eight mana uh, like this, and then I'm going to recast my Uvara Hellkite. Don't counter me. I'm not countering Thank it. You. you and I are in this together at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you need blockers, but at the same time, it you want to attack? Right? I do want to attack. Okay, so I'm going to switch the Lightning Greaves over to the Avara Hellkite. Okay. Who's got a response? It resolves, no response. Son of a... Craig has all of these indestructible flying pieces of poop. Mm -hmm. What if I were able to help with one of the problematic things? That'd be great, obviously. I'm not going to swing at you because you have blockers and I don't want to. You're already promising some help here. Um, All right, Craig, I'm going to swing everything at you. So when that happens, Uvar is going to (laughs) trigger. Holy mother, wait. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, Murph. Uh, Let's let's make a deal, you and I. (laughs) We made no deal. I said I might be able to deal with something. When that happens, Uvar helps. Kite is going to trigger four times, giving me oh, no. four six six dragons. Are they- However, it's also going to trigger the coat of arms, so all of my things are now 12 12s, and then the Avara Hellkite is a 13 13. You can block three of them for free. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm going to block here, here, and here. I'll take the gold foil token. Nice. As expected. (laughs) Oh, man. This is not good for me. I will take 12, going down to 12. I take back the monarchy. No! Oh, oh, oh. 
All oh. hail King Jimmy. Um, and then I'm gonna draw a card for Monarch, and I'm not gonna pay for Smothering Tithe, Goroff. Thank you. And then I'll pass the turn to you, Murph. All right, I will not do anything on Jimmy's end step. I will untap and draw for turn. Oh, you didn't cast a spell. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Oh, would you like to pay for Smothering Tithe? I will not pay. Thank you. And I'm gonna play Spellbook, so I have no maximum hand size, and that's all I can do. I will pass. That's not all you can do. Okay, that's all I want to do. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Linguistics. <laughs> okay, uh, I will untap. Uh, um, on my upkeep, the prismatic bridge will trigger again, which I'm kind of surprised it's still around. Let's here, go! Here we go, slot machine, <laughs> baby. Beer Geek, god of storytelling. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then I will draw for turn. So... To begin, I'm gonna tick up Nickel Bolas. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control. Planes? Urza's Incubator? I'll exile the spell book. It's not helping me much at this point. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, well, I only have four <laughs> cards in my hand. Storm count one, Murph. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tap black, red, blue, white for Mogus, God of Slaughter. Ooh. Uh, this is gonna trigger a God of Tunnel Catcher, which means I will get another zombie token. Murph, you mentioned you had an answer for Eldrazi Monument or something. I may or may not. <laughs> I mean, I could just kill you this turn. I don't think you can. Really? Oh. Oh, I mean, I guess, yeah, you, you still have mana. Feel free to attack into me if you would like. Okay, so I think I do have to attack you, Craig. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna attack you with four creatures. Okay. An Athreos, a Heliod, a God of Tunnel, a Ketra, and a 11-11 zombie. All right, so I'll block everything except for the Athreos. So I'll take nine damage. Going down to three. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a land for turn. I'm gonna play an overgrown tomb tapped. Okay, that's my turn. No lightning bolt, no lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's right, I have to roll. Mana crypt! No! Mana crypt! Oh, we didn't even oh, think about god. This. oh god, oh god, oh god. Holy crap. Okay, Craig, okay. you're in control of your own destiny Jimmy? this time. <laughs> Jimmy? Evens do damage, Craig. Evens do damage, come on, odds. Oh my, it's, it's all day, it's all day one odds. Time come that on, evens. odds, come on, odds. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you oh, wow. Heck yeah. All right, so the mana crypt's gonna deal three damage to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna die. Mana <laughs> no! Uh, that's the most Craig way to go out. I too. know. Yeah, that was the best good. way to go out. That was good. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that means it's my turn. Yeah. Well, at least sure. those dragons aren't buffed anymore. I'm going to oh. untap it's, everything. They're still quite scary. I'm actually happy there's more math going on. <laughs> I. Advar <laughs> Hellkite's still around. I am the monarch, so that means I will now create another dragon. Sure. Yikes. Thing. So I'm going to mark it like this. So these are the two dragons without summoning sickness, and this one does have summoning sickness. Okay. So. Also on your upkeep, Mogus will trigger, and you can sacrifice. Sacrifice a creature or take two damage. I am going to take two damage and go to 20. Uh, and then I will draw my card for turn. I will not pay for Smothering Tide. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to first tap for one, two, and three and cast the Great Henge. Ooh. Seems legit. Okay. Um, let's go to combat. So this is going to be a really tough one here, yeah. I think, because I'm at 20. I have to kill Gaurav this turn. Ah. I'm going to swing everything at you, Gaurav. Oh, no. All right, uh, how much damage is that total? Before that happens, uh, Uvar Hellkite is going to trigger. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, eight, six sixes. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to mark the other dragons with this one, even though it's not correct. All right, so this is 45 total damage in the air at you, Grav. All right, here's my plan. <laughs> Murph, save me. <laughs> <laughs> I can remove one thing. That doesn't save you. So then I die in the air to a bunch of dragons. <laughs> 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 And then in my second main phase, I'm gonna tap three blue, two green, and one red to cast my commander, Intent the Dreamer. Sure, why not? Another dragon. Uh, when that enters the battlefield, the Great Henge will trigger, it gets a plus one, plus one counter, and I will draw a card. And I tap the Great Henge to do that, so I'll also gain two life. Um, and then I'm going to pass turn, and as the monarch, I will draw an additional card. <laughs> On your end step, I will cast Even Death, Draco Lich. Nice. Interesting. Uh, when I cast that spell, Nimrus will trigger. Uh, I'll look at the top two cards of my deck. I will put an island in my graveyard and this card into my hand. Then I'll go to my turn. I will untap, draw for turn. Okay, I think I have one thing that could save me here, so I'm going to play to that out. Okay. I'll cast a Vendillion Click. Uh-huh. Yourself. So when it enters the battlefield, I get to look at target player's hands and put that card on the bottom, and then that player draws a card. Usually I do that on Jimmy, but I'm looking for answers. So I'm actually going to target myself. I'm going to reveal a Lockmere Serpent. Doesn't help me that much, so I'm going to put it on the bottom of my deck. But that gets me one more draw, and... Nice. Did you get it? Well, that was not what I needed, so... Good game, Jimmy. Yeah! Good game. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. 
Good game. Good game. Good game. Victory. Wow, what a game. Awesome to see Jimmy win with the Dragon deck, but I mean, come on, let's be honest. The the, the highlight of that game was Craig dying to his own <laughs> his own mana crypt. Let's be honest, we've all been there before. I've definitely died to my own crypt more than once. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure if you want to pick up any magic cards or, or if you're buying gifts for your friends and family for the holidays, channelfireball.com slash command. That is the place to go to get your magic product, your singles, anything at all. You know you're gonna buy these cards anyway. If you just use our affiliate link, when you do, you're simultaneously supporting our channel and all of the content that you enjoy. And Channel Fireball's new marketplace really is from my experience, the best way to get your cards now because the vendors are all vetted, so they're professional businesses. Your cards arrive quickly and in great condition. Uh, it really, if you haven't tried it, I would highly suggest it. I also like the fact that like, if you forget to put in our affiliate link, at the end when you are checking out, you can actually just type in the code. There's a little box on the lower right hand corner. You can just type in command there. Again, if you forget the affiliate link. We really appreciate everyone that does that and we really appreciate everyone out there who watches all of our videos, so thank you. We've got game nights coming next month we've got more extra turns more cool podcast episodes there's a lot of fun stuff on the horizon so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're notified whenever our channel releases a new video all right everybody thanks for watching and we'll see you next time